Investigators have lots of work ahead of them. They're trying to piece together what exactly happened this morning. And we're now learning police were called to the home just yesterday. KTV News Watch 7 Sarah Feely is live with that new information. Sarah. Rob, Julie, we've confirmed that the homeowner filed a personal protection order just yesterday against another family member. And as you mentioned, the police were called to this home here around 1 p.m. on Monday. That was for a disturbance call. Now, right now, Omaha police and fire aren't saying much about who these people are or what may have led to the explosion. But we do know Omaha police are helping in the investigation. They are interviewing people. Omaha Fire says the first call came in around 815 this morning and crews saw thick black smoke from several blocks away as they approached the leveled home. Now they say as they started to put the fire out in one home, firefighters were also evacuating other houses and putting fires out there as it spread from one to another. Fire crews say two people were found dead here and another two were taken to Nebraska Medical Center in extremely critical condition. One dog was also killed in the explosion. Another was treated with oxygen. We're told that dog is doing well. Neighbors say no matter the circumstances, they jumped in to help. I was surrounded by a, a, by my whole neighborhood. I mean, we don't know all each, we don't know each other all by name, but when something like this happens, I guess we all doesn't matter if we know each other's name, we all were there to help each other. Now, as Jose mentioned, this is going to be a lengthy as Jose mentioned, this is going to be a lengthy investigation. Omaha Fire says police will be the ones to identify everyone involved in this terrible tragedy, including the two people who did not survive. But right now they're making sure that all family knows reporting live Sarah Feely, KETV Newswatch 7.